On this last day of the legislative session here in Topeka, a big debate over a deadly drug. Fentanyl, you don't get a second chance. Former U.S. District Attorney for Kansas, Steve McAllister, was hoping Monday would be the day fentanyl test strips would become decriminalized in the state. Those strips allow anyone to test pills to see if they contain any of the deadly drug fentanyl. This would just be so simple and straightforward, and my biggest concern is the kids. The motion is lost. On Monday, the Kansas House voted down a last-minute amendment that would have allowed fentanyl test strips in the state. It's time to change the law. The amendment sponsor says more people will die now of the deadly drug. They will die because we don't have people who feel comfortable taking fentanyl test strips out into the community and talking to people about fentanyl. Some Republicans equated the program to a clean needle exchange. The Senate president also saying there wasn't enough time to change the law. Because being the last day, there's just not enough time to process. She's chair of judiciary, which is the committee. McAllister, appointed by former President Trump, but, says mm -hmm. he has seen the deadly effects of fentanyl on young people and hopes someday the law will change. They get hung up on the, you know, this is somehow going to facilitate drug use, and I, I just don't agree. I think it will save lives. Missouri, by the way, makes fentanyl test strips illegal too. Both states consider them drug paraphernalia. In Topeka, Matt Fleener, KNBC 9 News.